Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, your heart heavy with the weight of challenges and despair. The darkness seems deep, and hope feels like a distant dream. But what if I told you that in that very moment of hopelessness, there is a single act with the power to turn your situation around, a divine force that can shift the entire universe in your favor and bring about miraculous change? Welcome to the incredible power of prayer, a force so mighty it can transform your most desperate hour into a testimony of faith and victory. Join us now as we uncover how a simple act of prayer can be your ultimate game changer, your refuge in the storm, and your key to unlocking the miraculous in your life. My dearly beloved friends, I welcome you today to this powerful prayer that will bring blessings, miracles, healings, abundance, breakthroughs, and positive changes into your life. When we say that prayer changes things, it is not just because we read it, but because we have seen it. The caliber of change that prayer can cause will leave you in awe of God's power. In our fast-paced world, it is easy to get caught up in the rumbling chaos and forget the simplest yet most powerful tool we have, which is prayer. When things go wrong, our instinct might be to panic, complain, or try to fix things on our own. However, what if we chose to pray first? What if, instead of seeing prayer as a last resort, we made it our first response? We have a God who can do anything and everything, yet when things go south, we forget about His abilities. We make God a plan B, and after we have exhausted ourselves trying to sort it out unsuccessfully, we then run to God. This ought not to be so. If we say the Lord is our refuge, then we should be able to run to Him in times of trouble. When we do, He will show up for us and prove that He is God. The Lord says, Call on me and I will answer. Let us embrace the pattern of calling on God first in every situation and watch Him move with His mighty power. In the Bible, we can see a wealth of stories that illustrate the transformative power of prayer. Let us start with King Hezekiah. In 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1-6, through 6, Hezekiah was gravely ill, and the prophet Isaiah told him to put his house in order because he was going to die. Oh, what sad news! Hezekiah did not begin to worry. Hezekiah did not begin to mourn or sorrow. Hezekiah neither made an outburst nor alarmed his household. What did Hezekiah do instead? He turned his face to the wall and prayed first to the Lord. He reminded God of his faithfulness and wholehearted devotion. The Lord heard his prayer and added 15 more years to his life. This story vividly tells us that when we pray first, God listens and responds. Another wonderful example is found in the book of Esther. When the Jewish people were facing annihilation, Esther called for a fast and prayer. She said, Go, gather together all the Jews who are in Susa, and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. According to Esther, chapter 4, verse 16. Through their prayers, God granted Esther favor, and the Jewish people were saved from destruction. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1, we read about Hannah, who was deeply distressed because she was childless. Her co-wife had children already, but she had no child to call her own. Seeing her circumstance, Hannah poured out her heart to God in prayer, saying, O Lord Almighty, if you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord 
for all the days of his life. God heard her prayer, and she gave birth to Samuel, who would become a great prophet. This is to tell you that God can change every situation. It does not matter how long you have waited or what you are waiting for. When you pray first, believe that it is settled and God will change that situation for good. When Peter was imprisoned, the church prayed fervently for his release. Acts chapter 12 verse 5 tells us, So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Did you know that God sent an angel to free Peter from his chains, leading him safely out of the prison? That is the power of prayer. For if there is someone to pray, there is a God to answer. God will go to any length to answer our prayers, following his will. We can also see the power of prayer in the story of Jairus, whose daughter was on the verge of death. Jairus fell at Jesus' feet and pleaded with him to come to his house and heal his daughter. As they were still on their way, a servant came with the news that his daughter had died. But Jesus told Jairus, Do not be afraid. Just believe, and she will be healed. When they arrived at the house, Jesus took the girl's hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and she immediately stood up. This story can be found in Luke chapter 8, verses 50 to 54. These stories are not just ancient tales. They are testimonies to the living power of prayer. James chapter 5, verse 16 says, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This means that our prayers can bring about healing, blessings, miracles, abundance, and breakthroughs. When we pray first, we invite God into our circumstances, and He moves in ways that we cannot imagine. Prayer is not just about asking for things. It is about building a relationship with God. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is a result of entrusting our worries and fears to God through prayer. As we pray, we must also believe in the promises of God. Mark chapter 11, verse 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, Believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. You need to believe and have faith. Faith is the key that unlocks the power of prayer. When we pray with faith, we align ourselves with God's will and open the door for His blessings to flow into our lives. Prayer is not just an activity. It is a lifeline. It is the means through which we communicate with our Heavenly Father and invite His presence into our lives. When we pray first, we acknowledge that we are not in control, but we trust in the One who is. We declare our dependence on God and recognize that He is the source of all good things. Prayer is the first response we should have in every situation, whether it is a time of crisis or a moment of joy. By making prayer a priority, we invite God's power into our lives and experience His miraculous interventions. Let us commit to praying first, believing in the promises of God, and witnessing the transformative power of prayer. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Now let us pray to our loving, compassionate, excellent, game-changing, and powerful God. Our dear Heavenly Father, our Sovereign Lord, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We acknowledge your sovereignty 
and recognize that you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. We thank you for the gift of prayer, the divine privilege of communicating with you, and the assurance that you hear us when we call upon your name. Lord, we lift our voices in prayer, seeking your face and your will in our lives. We thank you for bringing us to witness another day in your presence. Thank you for your mighty hand, which is always at work in us. Thank you for all the times you showed up for us in the past. Thank you for your plans for us, which are good. Thank you for being our God, and thank you for granting us the privilege to talk to you. We ask for your divine intervention in every area where we need your touch, in our lives, in our family, in our finances, education, career, and relationships. We are asking that you perfect all that concerns us in the name of Jesus. May you look into these areas of our lives and cause a change where there needs to be one. We pray for all those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. Your word in James chapter 5 verse 15 says, And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. We stand on this promise and ask for your healing power to flow through every person who is suffering from every affliction of sickness. Just like you healed Jarius' daughter, heal them. Touch them, Lord, with your mighty hand and restore them to perfect health. Father, we pray for blessings over our families, our friends, and our communities. We ask for your favor to rest upon us, that we may be a light in the darkness and a beacon of hope to those around us. Your word in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 says, The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. We claim this promise and ask for your blessings to overflow in our lives so that we may be a blessing to others. Lord, we pray for miracles, for the impossible situations in our lives to be turned around by your mighty power. Your word in Mark chapter 9 verse 3 says, Everything is possible for one who believes. We believe in your power to perform miracles and ask for your divine intervention in our lives. Whether it is a financial breakthrough, restoration of relationships, or deliverance from addiction, we trust that you can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Father, we pray for your guidance and wisdom in every step that we take and the decisions that we make. Your word in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. We submit our plans and decisions to you, Lord, and ask for your wisdom to guide us. Show us the way we should go, and help us to follow your path. Lord, we pray for peace in our hearts and minds. Your word in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We ask for your peace to fill us, so that we may not be anxious or fearful, but trust in your perfect plan for our lives. Gracious Father, we pray for unity in the body of Christ. Your word in John chapter 17 verse 21 says that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. We ask for unity among believers, that we may be one in spirit and purpose, working together to advance your kingdom on earth. Father, we pray for protection over our lives and our loved ones. Your word in Psalm 91 verse 11 says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. We ask for your divine protection to surround us, so that we may be kept safe from harm and evil, 
guard our steps and guide us in your truth. Holy Lord, we pray for provision in every area of our lives. Your word in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. We trust in your provision and ask that you meet our needs, both seen and unseen. Provide for us, Lord, and help us to be good stewards of the blessings you have given us. Father God, we pray for a deeper relationship with you. Your word in Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. We seek you with all our hearts, Lord, and desire to know you more intimately. Draw us closer to you so that we may experience the fullness of your love and grace. We pray for forgiveness for our sins, Lord. Your word in 1 John says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. We confess our sins before you, Lord, and ask for your forgiveness and mercy. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and help us to walk in your ways. Father, we also pray for the lost, those who do not yet know you, and also the ones who have backslide from the faith. Your word in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. We ask for your mercy and grace to reach those who are lost, so that they may come to know you and experience your salvation. As for those who withdrew from the faith, we pray that you draw them into your warm embrace and never let them go. We pray for the oppressed and marginalized in various nations, where Christianity is not pronounced, Lord. Your word in Psalm 9 verse 9 says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. We ask for your justice and mercy to prevail in their lives, so that they may find refuge and strength in you. May you not allow them to lose their lives in the process of proclaiming your name. Rather, may you uplift and shield them as proof to the heathen that you are God. Father in heaven, we pray for wisdom and discernment for our leaders, both religious and political leaders. Your word in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. We ask for your guidance for our leaders, that they may govern with wisdom and righteousness. Lord, we pray for a heart of gratitude. Your word in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We ask for a thankful heart, so that we may recognize your blessings and give thanks in all circumstances. We understand that appreciation is an application for the multiplication of your blessings upon us. Hence, fill us with a heart of gratitude always. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers and for your constant presence in our lives. We stand on your promises, knowing that you are a God who listens and answers. As we lift our hearts to you, we trust in your divine power to bring healing, blessings, miracles, abundance, and breakthroughs into our lives. We give you praise, dearest Father, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments. If you feel this prayer has blessed you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.